I know Paper Cut was streaming this, but I kind of just wanted to watch it from all perspectives because I haven't actually really observed a Falcon game. I just noticed that uh, he, like a few weeks ago, I think was like my rank or something, or he was like platinum or something like that, and he just skyrocketed to Comp 3 with this feudal HRE style, which is pretty impressive, honestly. Like, I feel like I remember him talking about the game. Uh, it, it, kind of from the perspective of somebody who wasn't that experienced with it or whatever, but he clearly has found something that really makes him work and makes it work rather. And I think, like, HRE's feudal is like really good actually. It's funny because obviously a fast castle sieve, but marching drills is just insane. It's such a such a strong buff. Arkan Chapel, Arkan Chapel is like. You know, one of the best landmarks in the game. And I've even noticed um, like some sets between BC and Marine Lord when they were just doing customs or whatever where uh, Marine Lord would go like this heavy archer style with HRE. And he even like did really well against Longbow's fam because of the move speed. They're, they're like a really good unit. Six on berries. Two on sheep. And he hasn't had that many sheep yet. Um, what's this guy doing? Looks like he's dropped off like a decent bit. Wonder if we're gonna see like that early farm. Like I wonder if Falcon goes any early farms with his feudal style. Probably not. I would guess he does not. Like he probably tries to focus on on the deer packs and stuff. But we'll see. And I actually have no idea how this is going to play out. Like, I guess traditionally, I've heard people say that the feudal Japanese is just like all right. I would probably give the edge to feudal HRE, but yeah, I don't. I don't have a lot of knowledge on the game. So, and there's the Arkham Chapel. Actually, aging up with six. Holy crap, dude! Meanwhile. Not quite started his age up yet. This is paper cut. I feel like typically I've seen more villagers on berries than okay. this. But uh, I don't know. Getting some more sheep, getting it scouted out a bit. I mean, this is like a really fast age up timing. I've, I don't. I very rarely see six villagers on an age up and then just you know, yeah. instantly starting the barracks. Seems like a pretty optimized setup, but again, I I mean do you need this? Maybe you do if you're trying to put on pressure as fast as possible. And then these guys eventually yeah, they just instantly go to wood. Nine on food. And I mean, just the one on gold here. Kind of interesting. I wonder what that's about. Maybe it like helps you slowly get some upgrades or something like that. Or, oh, it helps you aff afford the minute arms. Okay. That makes sense. Because it's just going early minute arms. I feel like I would assume that you would go... <clears throat> get more of an archer setup here. But I, again, I haven't watched any of his games, so I don't know what he does. But the minute arms coming out here. Yeah, it's forty percent, man. It's like so good. It's so good. And uh, just now getting his barracks down. This is an interesting spot for Kura. I mean. Usually you see it on the wood line, but this allows like more farms to pop up, and the farms will be like closer to the TC, so you can defend them, which is it seems good. 
First minute in arms is already here. Second minute in arms is here. Another minute in arms is building. And there's the archery range, yeah. No barracks or blacksmith yet, but I'm guessing that's probably coming as well. And uh, just, yeah, just instantly sending it over to this, this wood here. And the samurai is not going to be there in time, but like, it's probably fine, right? It's pro you probably just have to like micro this. Because it's going to take two. Like, what? It would take like. It would take three more hits to kill that, I guess. So it takes five hits, I guess. And then now he's just going to make sure that the samurai come out. If you look at the numbers. I guess they're the same, right? But the samurai get the deflective armor. And the samurai already have the plus one. Because they can just get the upgrade through their... Their forge, right? And he's getting another one. Just building samurai right now. Having like a mixture of archers is pretty nice, for sure. There's the blacksmith. Double archery range. Yeah, this is what I thought you were gonna. Uh, this is what I thought you were gonna see, like a mixture of men at arms and, and archers. Seems pretty tough, man. Like that's a lot of. That's a lot of units. So he's defending his uh, his gold here. Gonna wall it off. But like he's he's already got like a lot of units, bro. <laughs> this is like really surprising. Really needs to get these numbers up. I can't build a katana mannerman yet, because I guess you need the daimyo upgrade first. And I mean, he's not even close to that. Am I right about that? There might be something I don't understand about. <laughs> Japanese. I mean, looking like Falcon's build here is like pretty pretty optimized. The one that he came up with himself. He's adding another barracks on. So having a good amount of prod. I mean, this is like a lot of units. Like, four samurai versus this will lose every time. And it's really, really good for him to wall this off. Like, really good. Can technically burn it down, but it's like, eh, is it worth it? I don't know. He's getting the horsemen mixed in so that he can chase down the, uh, the archers, which I think is, is good. Obviously, horsemen are going to get slapped by these guys, but here comes here comes the pressure. They're going to try to kill this, uh, this villager, and it is going to go down. And obviously, they can just burn this down if they want, probably. But he's just, he's just playing really safe. He's preserving his units, which I think is pretty good. It, it makes sense, right? Like, you've got the advantage here because you have 21 military to 8 right now. And it's not like, and you have the econ boss because of HRE. So it's not like paper code is being inefficient with his his resources. I would say like maybe there was too much on gold for a little bit, but like he's using his resources just fine. But you can see the income per minute on wood and everything over here on on Falcon's side, and he just has full map control. Running out here is a little crazy because like this is gonna be super exposed. Gonna lose some, definitely gonna lose some uh, some villagers here because of the archers. And actually, he could have killed that one as well. Falcon just prioritizing like keeping his units alive, keeping up the threat, building up a big ball, which that's something that like is kind of hard to learn about the game. That I've I've been trying to learn myself. It's like you don't have to do insane amounts of damage when you go these evil styles. Like, just forcing people to build a lot of units, which, I mean, Papercut was already planning to do this anyway, but forcing people to build a lot of units and, like, just controlling the map. And he's just kind of patrolling around, wanting to keep him from going on this deer or whatever. And, I mean, eventually, even adding some extra farms here because he knows that, like, he can't he can't go out to this, right? There's just too, there's too many units here. And I kind of wonder, like, how do you compete with this as you can? I guess he does need the Bannerman. But he's not getting any gold right now. Instantly when I say that, there's a ton of gold coming out. I guess he's realizing that because he needs to get his Daimyo upgrade at some point. I mean, I wonder if it's, like, worth it. 
I'm just mining some stone so that you can get your daimyo upgrade. You have better farms and you can get your katana panel, right? Oh, this is a little crazy. This finally goes up. Oh, it doesn't finish it. They're all going to die. Oh, no. Okay, there's, it's just gonna get burnt down though, right? There's too many men at arms. This is looking tough. This is looking tough. <laughs> this build looks super hard to go against, I'm not gonna lie. He's got his plus one. He's going for the fight. No bannerman though. I don't see how this is possible. The archers run around, but yeah, there's just no way, right? There's so many units. There's so many units here. I do wonder about that, like should you just go some stone early so that you can actually get the bear? It seems like a, a bit of a stretch, but like it would make them shred this army for sure. Because now it's just like unplayable, right? 